Hello guys, and welcome back to another Path of Exile walkthrough series. It's Normans again, and last time we finished Act 3, killing Dominus, to go on Act 4. And before we go on to Act 4, just quickly tell you a few things I have done off video. First thing is, remember all the stuff that we picked up before, I managed to get a falling from it. And I use a... I use four of these guys, the chromatic orb, to get the colors that I want. And not, you notice how this chest has armor and energy shield, so I knew that it was likely for me to be able to get the right color socket that I want. That's why I spent some chromatic ops on it. There was another four links boots that I picked up, but it was an evasion and energy shield one. So there's just no way I will be able to get just blue and red on it. So I just threw it into the vendor. I'm not going to be even bother trying to color it because it's not gonna it's gonna be a waste of time. I'm gonna be wasting all of my currency. I'm not gonna be able to get the right color. It's just gonna piss me off. So I just sold it into to the vendor and didn't even bother to try it. So I'm still using my current boost. Um it should be fine and we get our fallings going. So um last time we bought all of these things in the last video I'm not quite sure last or two videos ago but we got flame plast control destruction faster casting and fire penetration so this is our fallings for now um, I could have tried to fit, fit in the frost bolt but I try and put it in and the falling turned out to be a bit less than this one right here at the moment so we'll just keep using this setup because our clear speed is alright it's just a, a single target might get troublesome later on that's why we have our falling on the Flame Plast over here. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's keep moving on to Act 4. We could do our trial right now, but it's I think it's a bit early still, and um, I hate doing that, I hate dying to it, and having to do everything over again. So we're just gonna spend a few, a couple of levels in here, properly finishing Act 4, and then we'll go back to Act 3 to do our trial. You see right there, the Labyrinth, sorry, that it should be the Labyrinth, not the trial. So we'll after finishing Act 4, we'll go back to Act 3 to do the Labyrinth. Okay, so Act 4 is shouldn't be too hard. Same as always, just go through these guys. So right here you see this section, just go in there, there's always a blue pack in here. Um, so whenever you see it, when you're in this zone, which is the aqueduct, so just go in there, um, and there's always a blue pack in there for you. Waiting there for you, just for you to queue it up. As you can see, our damage start to pick up right now, and it's getting easier. Right, so use our flame plus, when, I mean sorry, use our flame dash when we're whenever it's available, so just to save a bit of time. That's another blue pack. Watch out for these one, they do a lot of damage, that is lightning damage. So when you see these, when you die, the mob die and they leave these things on the ground, watch out for it, don't stand on it, because they might kill you. So let's pop one of these in there. And let's see what we're up to. We're gonna go all the way down there just to grab that one with some dexterity and intelligence. With some cast speed as well. It's always good. Uh, pick up those two. That's my Arbor of Chance. Another one right here. There should be a pack of blue mobs in here. Right there. So whenever you see these ones, just go up. There's a bit, of, a bit more XP for you. Just one hit these guys, nice and easy. Now, I would have picked up that one right there if it were four links, but it's only three links, so I'm not gonna bother. There's a parentus over here. This area has. Over here, exile. Over here, exile. Let's see what she's got for us. Up that way. No, why? So I ran out of. 
mana over there at the, at the top of my mana flask. So it looks like it's down there. So I'm not gonna bother. She's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Too lazy for that. Too lazy for that. Now up that one. That's a bowling boost. So we're gonna use our pem dash and he's gone. Watch out. His attack hurts. And he's gone. And he's down. Easy. So just as you can see our flame dash does a lot of damage. So just get it up and going as soon as you can. Just make it your single target a bit, a bit better. That's the essence up there, haven't seen one for a while. Essence of torment. So just Go around these guys like that. Kill this small one, and now there's only the big one left. Boom. I need more mana. And that's down, that's another falling. There should be another blue pack up here, right there. So those one again, just watch out for it. And we're up to the next base, the high gate. Ta da! This is one of a new zone um, that Go was just introduced way. into Path Excel recently. Yes. So, yeah, they're very nice. Okay, so once you're in the high gate, the first thing you need to do is to go to the dry lake and kill some guy. I forgot his name. Um, so, once we get there, I'll let you know. If you're a hardcore player, this is the area where you want to farm when you are around level when you <laughs> when you get to these zones, so say when you get to um, Merciless, Act 4 and you get to around whatever level you get up there people usually farm um, Dry Lake over here because it's easy so they farm until they get to a, a comfortable level before they move on to doing maps but since we are a subcore player, we don't really care about these things. That's the benefit of it. So you don't have to worry about dying. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not gonna pick up that bow because it's quite big. So it's gonna take up our inventory, so I'm not gonna bother. This is 34, we're 34. Nice and on the mark. So we'll replace our mana flask with a new one. Nope. That's a 24 one, so never mind. Ah, uh, and you might have noticed I, um, the loot filter looks a bit different from before. That's because I've changed it. I made a video on it. So let's make, that, make sure to check out that video as well. Uh, which where I show you guys how to change your loot filter and everything. So the one I'm using right now is Never Sings Loot Filter. And I skipped that guy, he's um, one of the boss in this zone and it's very annoying because he keeps duplicating himself and it's get kind of hard to differentiate which one is which one, which one's the real one from the fake one. So um, yeah, most of the time it's just a waste of your time and ooh, let's not die from here. So see what I did right there? 
if you are a hardcore player definitely don't do what I did so make sure you always identify the chest before you open it because otherwise you're going to get what I got right there which is freeze wind activated which so it froze me for a sec right there could have died um, so just be careful when you open chests I pick up something again nope I don't want that bow yep that that that's level 30 and level 30 so not really useful for us because we got our plus up to date already that's a shield right there failing shield um, not really useful because we're using two stuff right now I mean sorry two ones okay so the guy we're looking for should be somewhere down here right there that looks like it there you go and what's it vault so we want to keep vault in here he's usually in one of those camps Let's go in there and you should be able to find him. And he's giving, doing that slam. So just. Bam! And he's down. Nice and easy. And that's it. So if you want to, we can keep. We can clear the whole zone to get these things that we got up there. Otherwise, we can, we can just keep it. You know what? We'll skip it because we're level 34. So we'll skip it. And the leak stone's about to run out, so just gotta make sure you put a new one every now and then. And see that exclamation mark right there? Let's go up and use this to open the gate to the next area. Yes. So, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we're back, guys, so just click on that, and now we can talk to Oyun for every word. And she's gonna give us something very, very exciting. Ta -ta. Wrong person. She's gonna give us a golem. So the golem we're gonna take is flame golem. Um, he's gonna increase our damage by just a tiny bit, but yeah. it's still something. And later on, we'll buy and we'll get another golem, but we'll worry about that later. For now, just the flame golem. And let's go into the mines. And two of our lick stones been spent, so gotta make sure you put in something else. 41, 42, 43, 47, so these things will leave to the side, gotta make sure we use those two first. And see what we can do, pop up that one, and we're into this zone, 34 still, that looks nice. Alright, so for this zone there's not really anything that you need to do in here, so just keep running sort of to the top left, gotta make sure that I say it right this time <laughs> top left, not top right, top left, this area um, and we should be able to get to the next zone if you keep following the train rail right like this and we'll meet Cardi Road let's see what he gives us Allow me to turn your coin. <laughs> too expensive Cardi Road so this one's not really, doesn't look worth it's not worth that much, but 314 we don't have that much right now. So, too bad, too bad. Um, so there is one parent that's chest in it. Skip that guy, he does a lot of damage, and most of the time he doesn't drop anything useful. So this parent is right here. Oh, Varishji. So Varichi is um, one of the masters that help us link and color our gear, so he's quite useful as well. I mean all of them are useful, so keep the target on low life, so gotta make sure I keep him down on low life because most of the time I just forget and I just kill them right away, <laughs> which is not good, not good. So gotta make sure you read the mission. Uh, let's see what we have here. Nothing too useful. We'll grab that two stone ring. Okay. So target right there, as you can see the red mark. Um, so keep them on low life, which is not too hard. There you go. So let's run around for five, six, eight, four, three, two, one, and we're done. Nice and easy, and he's right there, and he's level two already. Yes. And 
so as I mentioned before, just keep moving up to the top left and we're next to the mine level 2 so in this level 2 mine, there's two things we need to do well, there's only one thing that is, we need to do a side quest to get our passive skill point and we'll just move to the next zone Ooh, someone throws something at us and it's that guy right me. there so mean I think he likes me <laughs> Okay, so in here, just go along it. Um, not quite sure whether I can give you any advice in here, but just keep an eye out. That's a dead end, so it must go. We must go up there. Um, skip an eye out when it doesn't go in one way and sort of branch out to not a different direction, and that should be your side quest. Is so it could be up there, but let's just check out the side to see whether we get any luck. That's a dead end. Let's go up. You there. Oh, we're reaching again. Yeah, great. So it's over there. Um, our quest. I I have a strong feeling our quest is up there, but we'll see. We'll see. Won't know until we get there. So slay the target. God, keep the target alive. That should be doable. Should be too hard. Okay, so target top here. Let's go up. That's it. Marichi again. And he's level 2. Two stone ring. And the Let's pick up that turtle armlet as well. Let's just check out this area real quick, and that's our quest right there. So you don't need to kill him; you just need to click on the girl right there, and you're good. So just watch out for that guy right there, because <coughs> the parent does is blocking him, uh, him at the moment. But that guy right there, as you can see, very dangerous, very very dangerous. So don't try and tank him, because he does a lot of damage. Oops, as you can see, that's a lot of damage. So he's through those hammer looking and it, it does a lot of damage. So that's clubs, but that's a um that's a innovation clubs. So we're not gonna be able to get what we wanted, so I'm not gonna bother. What is this thing? Hmm. Oh, I never knew about that. So it looks like you when you click on it it will give us a prophecy. I never knew about that before. Too much clutter. Okay hey guys, be right back. And we're back guys. So let's just pick up this one. Um nothing really useful there. That's a silver coin. Alright, so there's nothing we need to do here. Let's get out here and sprint back. Ah, oh, the back traffic is always bad. A lot before. So the next zone should be down here because we were up there before. It must be down here. We have a bat bow so we can set it to the vendor. And we'll get in plop by these guys. Ah, oh, that's a nice, nice strong box right here. This one is going to give us a lot of currency. Hopefully. But yeah, <coughs> that's one of the good strong boxes you should keep an eye out for. A distant. I think that's how you say it. And it gives us. <coughs> sorry. And it gives us nothing. God damn it. Such is my luck. Oh, we need to go again. See whether he give us anything useful. To an exile, your coins are redeemed. Mm. I look forward to our next fruitful exchange. Okay. Not too expensive. So we'll go home, grab our Perandus coins, and let's go back and see what we get from that jewel. <laughs> so 
So we're at 270 right now. Which is nothing. Might but I something. Whenever you find gold, you know where to bring it. Okay. Bring it to him. And there is nothing in here again. As you can see, my luck is horrible. And we're next up to the next one, the crystal veins. So in here there is a waypoint, so make sure you grab it because you'll keep coming back to this area. But I mean you must you it's it's gonna be right in front of your face, so you must see it. Um let's see. Let's go this way up there, grab those two, and then we'll go down to grab the remaining jewel. So this zone, there's not really anything in here, so just run through it, you can draw a strong box. Um, so as is the name suggests, it's gonna give us ring and the other thing that is not the gear. If that makes sense. Okay, let's replace this, throw that one out. The life plus or you know just plus in general get easier when you get to higher level because it takes longer and there's more chance for you Allow to find the right plus. Okay so this one looks I think it's quite useful so um, you know what we'll do we'll do a quick check on it so the way we're gonna do is we'll go to here Pyrex style tray I think I showed you guys before so I'm gonna put in the name of the thing. Yep. And go search. And there's two cows for 105 Brandis coin, or rather three even. So let's see. This one is high. It's high low. So we'll probably get two cows for it. Okay. So the other thing we want to do is check out the currency, how much those Brandis coins are going for. So the way you want to check it, just go back to your PO tray again, go to currency market. And here you're gonna go how much do you have? Let's say you have cows out and you wanna buy parentis coin. And one per one parentis coin goes for 143 or 130 on average right here. This is therefore it's only around one cow, so we're making one cow's profit right now. So we're gonna trade with him. So that's how you start making your money on in part of Excel. So you're just trying to find these things um, along the way when you're going through part of Excel, and um, and try to and check with the PAE Trade website when whenever you can make a profit from it. So it looks like those Yamada White are a new addition to this leaf. I never see them before. And we'll get the waypoint. That's it. Let's go back to town. And that's where I'm going to end the video today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, if you like this video, please like the video. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button for more videos in the future. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you. Bye bye.